I've said it many times before, every good portrait starts with one light. It's the most important light in your lighting setup. But I know you'll want to move on to building multiple light setups. Uh, before you move on to that, before you get into the three and four point lighting setups, let me show you what you can do with just one additional light. And I'll show you my favorite use for that second light in this video. <music> So you know that you need to be proficient at just using one single light for your portraits before you move on to multiple light setups, right? Well, let's say you've done that, you're ready to go. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's just add one light to complement our key light at this point. There's a lot you can do with that one extra light. You can use it as a fill light. Of course, the whole point of fill light is to reduce contrast, to fill in the shadows on the shadow side of the portrait. And you don't need a second light to do that. You can just use a reflector. But a second light will give you finer control than a reflector will. Well. And of course, you can use a second light in any role that we talk about in our three-point lighting video. You can use it as a fill light, a hair light, a background light, and even as part of a double key light. But my favorite way to use that second light is cross lighting. I've used this as my go-to lighting setup for many years. I've mostly used this as a kicker for the subject's form, and basically, uh, all this means is that it gives the subject a controlled highlight against the background. And this highlight is usually on the opposite side of the key light. All you really need to do is place that second light behind your subject and to the side, out of frame, opposite your key light. So basically, it and the key light are pointing at each other diagonally and your subjects in the middle. And by simply doing this, you can add dimension and sleekness to your portraits. Now, as far as camera settings and light power settings go, there's no real formula for this. You've just gotta make sure that your key light exposure is what you want it to be. And then you just go ahead and place that second light where you want it and uh, take some test shots. Dial that second light's power up or down as needed. You can also move that light around a little bit or change the pose of your subject to get different effects from that light. Now I've had really good success at using this setup for everything from boudoir to headshots to editorial portraits. Uh, so look, if you're ready to move on from that one light setup, this is your next stop, the two light setup cross lighting, it's the way to go. Hey, I want to thank the people at Wondershare for sponsoring this video. Now, Wondershare has this photo editing software called PhotoFire. It's got a lot of interesting features and makes common photo editing tasks really easy. One thing that they wanted me to tell you about was this background replacement feature. If you want to quickly cut your subject out of one background and replace that background with another, this might be exactly the kind of tool that you're looking for. Now, Wondershare is offering a free trial for PhotoFire. I've got a link for that in the description below, so go ahead and check it out. Hey guys, if you like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up by clicking that like button. If you haven't already, go ahead and click subscribe. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I'll see you next time.